our life on a different time let's see who is here at these hours if there's anybody uh, yeah so as I always said I will during Christmas go live a little more let's see who is tuning in anyway I'm ready with my coffee Anybody here at these hours? <laughs> Let's see. Hey Dave, hi. That's so cool. So I changed the hours as promised. Um, so it's two o'clock in the afternoon here. So I hope I can accommodate some people from Europe or just on different time zones. Thank you, Dave. What time do you have now? And I have to warn you guys, because it's in the middle of the afternoon, there's a lot of traffic, so <laughs> uh, there will be noise from the road. Yes, because the convenient, um, the convenient part in the evening is that there is basically no noise from the road, because when I usually do my lives, then there is... Um, curfew James um, the Thursdays it's just now everything gonna be different during the holidays right so I'm officially on holiday now so I will do different times um, for the live to accommodate other time zones and then and also my I'm not in my regular routine so definitely the the life's gonna be all over the place on different times according to when I you know have time so James yes during the holidays it's gonna be different oh Fitzroy sending you nice warm sunshine yes um, and I definitely try to go live also um, during the holidays I will see how this goes and how my internet <laughs> goes <laughs> but if I have internet and if I can make it happen I will connect with you guys as well on Christmas yes um, a charms greetings from Canada hi Andrew thank you Dave it's night years oh you see Dave not bad 10 p.m. so I see you know it, it is more convenient for certain time zones if I do a live at these hours which is in the middle of the day for us two o'clock but I'm on holiday so I have time yes yes greetings greetings how are you guys doing how is holiday preparation like I avoid the roads it is so busy Shannon greetings greetings Shannon from Jersey yes unfortunately the sea is a little rough right now so I'm just waiting for the sea to calm down so I can do another catch and cook that's what I love to do um, yeah, it's just beautiful in the ocean it's so zen <laughs> yes away from the hustle and bustle greetings Amy Amy where are you I see all these amazing amazing pictures you're having a good time um Dave 10 minutes all right and then good night to you Andrew, you love the video with Chucky. Yeah, man, I finally made it there. Um, I had a great time. It's beautiful. There is a there is a part two coming. Um, unfortunately, I didn't had a lot of time there. I just basically was there a night. So, but nevertheless, I got to explore and I got to hang out with Chucky and I even cooked. <laughs> so watch out for part two of the vlog at Chucky's yard. I was in Portland two weeks, then the past months I've been in a grill. I will be making it home here. Okay, so okay, okay, I see you, Amy. You say no to Portland. 
no problem so whenever i get to come to um negril then we can link up um yeah negril negril is nice as well but i definitely prefer portland like beep, 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 beep. <laughs> portland is so nice but now there, 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 there's a lot of road works, so it's a little annoying to drive in Portland right now. Um, but I guess once that's done, in I don't know how much years, it will be nice. All right, Dave. Sweet dreams. And happy holidays. nice amy all right amy you you explore negril for me so when i come there you can you know show me all the nice off the beaten path spots wendy you from portland nice i'm from portland too so i'm biased <laughs> but i i definitely it's my favorite parish Connecticut, greetings, Damian. Hi, hi, that's so nice. People are, are checking in on these hours. Not bad, not bad. I'm trying out, I'm trying it. Give it a different time zone, so. Yes, people, give this video a like. Give it a like so the, the you know, YouTube can do its thing. <laughs> And I will make it to Portland again to check out the waterfall spots. And I saw Winifred, Boston Beach, Blue Lagoon, and Frenchman's Cove. Need to go back and see San San and waterfalls. Yes, Amy. And definitely you probably need to check out Manchinil as well. That's where most of my beautiful videos are from. So check out Manchinil. And you mentioned the rest so that's cool anthony from london greetings anthony thank you so much bundi omega hi i'm still waiting on your reply <laughs> sherry wagwan greetings montreal in the house ça c'est très bien bonsoir ou non c'est même pas soir bon après midi I'm just leave work, Jesse. All right, Damian, nice. Yeah, man, Amy, the recent one that was with Raj and Lee. I love the Rio Grande rafting. It's my favorite rafting in Jamaica. I just, it's just the best, you know. With with Belinda working at the river, at working, cooking at the riverside. Yeah, man. Star tile, nice. Big up yourself. You still in the uh, dumb rep? Star tile I, on Instagram. I saw some some posts from from like somebody like me doing like off the beaten path travels, and and showed some um, nice nature waterfall and river from the Dominican Republic, and it was so beautiful. I can't wait to explore other Caribbean islands. John, hi, greetings. Amy Hidden River spot before that was lovely. Yes. Star tie back in Atlanta. Okay, okay. I guess everything has to come to an end. <laughs> Even vacations. <laughs> no, no problem. Bundi Omega, I know it's it's a busy time this this holiday season. I understand. You're coming in February, nice, nice. Yeah, man, we definitely can have lunch and long bay and, and, and chat and drink. <laughs> yeah, man. Greetings, Joan. Nice, Denny. Hi. From Las Vegas. Ooh, I've been to Las Vegas. And it was so cool. Of course, we went to gamble. And then we won money. And then with that money, we bought a, we bought a helicopter ride to the, <laughs> to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> oh, man, that was so much fun. And then all those um, rides, like, oh, this was fun, man. 
I guess they're, they're building so fast in Vegas that I probably wouldn't even recognize it again. Star Time heading to Miami. Nice. For the holidays. Beautiful. Brooklyn in the building. Greetings. Yeah, man, Bundy Omega. We're going to eat a nice. Well, I don't know if we can catch something. If not, we'll just, um, you know, see what, what um, Chill Out has on the menu. <laughs> We met on the beach in Long Bay, jockey on the horse. Oh, Denny, nice. You were staying with um, with 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 uh, Anesta, right? I remember. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Amy, did you take the day tour or night in the helicopter? Um, it was a it was a, a day tour in the helicopter. So they picked us up from the hotel that was part of the package. Like we went like the money we won. We spend it all like we everything. <laughs> it stayed in Vegas. Um, yeah, so we went to the Grand Canyon, which was super cool. Um, Wayne, well, my granny, me catch you. Yes, Wayne, because as promised, I said I'm gonna do lives for different time zones. So here it's two o'clock in the afternoon. This is not a time where I usually could do a live. I'm on holiday. People, I'm on holiday. Yeah. And I avoid the city. I avoid the roads. If I could just be locked in until after the holidays, I wouldn't have a problem. <laughs> it's just so busy and all this shopping. What's going on? Anyways, um, Vegan is going downhill violence. Oh, really? Hmm. Hmm. Well, the world is going downhill. Um, then he got some great pictures with you and bigger. Oh, nice. Nice. You can email them to me or, um, yes, either Facebook or on this YouTube thing. There is my email address. You can email to me if you want, or I don't know. Yeah. Facebook you can inbox it to me. Jessica Cargill. How you been? How you been? Where are you now? Um, Denny. Yes, John, I guess. John, Jess, you have ever been to the Cap Verde Island, Boston in the house? No, never, never. Cap Verde. That's, where, where is that actually? Is that in Africa? Cap Verde. I'm not sure. John, where is Cap Verde? Islands. Yes, guys, hit that like button. Denny, yeah, man, Bondi Omega, Rast, uh, bigger from, from um, Rasta Villa. Yep, that same bigger. So we actually bigger was there with the guests. And I was there too. And they recognized me and they were like, hey, Jess. And I was like, hey. <laughs> and we were on the beach and we, you know, we were just, you know, um, having a great time there and chit-chatting and all of that. Yeah, man. Northwest of Africa. Okay, okay, nice. Beautiful. I definitely, um, I know traveling right now is a pain in the ass, but as soon traveling will be something enjoyable again. Then I have a big bucket list and these are the motorcycles in Jamaica. They're very loud. <laughs> uh, yes. So that's the inconvenience doing a life at these hours because in the evening here we are on curfew. So there is no noise coming from the road. Um, but that's not the case now. So my apologies for the noise. Big guy is your nephew? That's so cool, really. Yeah, nice. Nice. You saw me in Kingston too? Oh, well that's possible. Because like, I'm everywhere. <laughs> that's so cool, Danny. Cap Verde in front of Senegal. Sao Tome in front of Gabon. 
Oh, Johan, I've been to Senegal. I've been to Dakar. It was one of my best travel experience ever. Yes, I had a great time in Senegal. I want to go back. And Gabon, I never been there, but I read a book from there and it was interesting. Because I, I just feel like there's, there's not much literature coming out of Africa. And I don't think it's not because it's not there. It's because the Western world is just not pushing African literature. So when I, when I found that book about Gabon, um, I was like, yes. So I read it and it was pretty cool. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, you were calling me from the outside and waving to me? That was you? Yeah, I was there working off my ass and my trainer was killing me. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh. Helen, I need your tour guide responsible on when you come back to our country advice, please. Yeah, man, Helen, you can, every tour guide request or tour request, which can, which I can do or I can delegate, you guys can just send me an email and then, you know, we can take up that conversation properly and see what we can do. And you can find my email in the YouTube about section. Uh, start I yes curfew is still at 10 o'clock yeah yeah it's at 10 o'clock but traffic kind of calms down already at nine so that's why it's kind of convenient Samuel I just love the vibe pick up yourself thank you so much guys hey guys give the video a like chup, 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 chup. Yes, um, I'm happy you guys enjoyed um, the videos and even with Chucky, that was actually pretty cool. Yeah, man, there's a part two coming out end of the week. I have some guys Christmas. I am working. I'm on my holiday, but I'm editing like a, like like <laughs> I'm editing. So you guys have something to um, watch during Christmas. So part two will come out, I guess, on Saturday. And then, I, and then I have another vlog for Sunday or something. There is a vlogger like your call, Sabbatical, who did a great job when he was in Africa. He is now in Jamaica. Danny, you know, he is popping up in my YouTube feed. And I was like, huh, Sabbatical? So I was... I was um, peeping through some of his videos and I'm like, okay, cool. And then now that's a cool thing. So I didn't know about him, but I guess because he's in Jamaica now, it popped up in my feed, right? I'm following some YouTubers from Ghana and Nigeria. I don't know. Anyway, I saw Sabatica commenting on a video of a YouTuber I follow. And I'm like, wow, that's cool. Huh? Links. And he's here now. Yeah, but yeah, man. Um, but I have to check out his, his, his channel. Definitely. That's so cool. John, please add CV to your bucket list. Brava Island, Portuguese, Il Brava, Southern Island, Cap Verde. John, definitely, definitely. Just, just tell everybody about my channel so my channel can grow. So I can um, become like a, a, a travel vlogger and then it's easier to travel. Yes, because it will allow me actually to do certain links and and in terms of accommodation i probably can like arrange for some deals yeah that's how it goes fitzroy blessings yeah man yeah man yeah man da da dee da 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 all right guys give the video a like because i have more people in and the chat than i have likes yeah man france has one thing to say, listen well, be careful of the sky and watch them will spray in the sky by playing the style over Guadeloupe still spike protein and hydrogen of graphene scene. 
Really? So what, 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 what for? For plants? For the humans? <laughs> the world is going downhill. Oh my God. Yeah, man, people, we have to unite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's the holiday season, so it's the season of love, you know. It's a season which we should have all year round. So I hope you guys get to spend time with your family and friends. And if not, there's no problem, no pressure, you know, tea time. <laughs> no coffee, I, I made tea. <laughs> you cannot find it? Hmm. Uh, all right, let me check how, because it's there, you know. Um, so when you are on YouTube, right, so you go into the about section and then there, but let me check before I'm saying anything which is not correct. Let me go and look what it looked like. So I'm in the about section and then I don't see it. <laughs> Where is it? There's supposed to be a contact. Uh -huh. Hmm. You're right, it is not there. Hmm. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when I finish with this, with this live, I'm gonna leave it in the description. Or can I actually write something here? No. We'll do, we ahead of you. I share you all the time, one love queen. Thank you, John. Thank you. Helen, I'm going to leave my email in the description once I'm finished with this live. In this same live, I'm going to leave it in this live description at the end of the live. So, Helen, you can check it out um, or come back, you know, and, and, and then see the details, the contact details. But I have to update it. I'm not sure why it's not there. Yeah. Elijah, greetings. Nice vibe from the UK. Nice. Sending sunshine to all countries where it is cold. <laughs> Isa, call us. Nice. Thanks for passing through. Guys, call us in the live chat. Yes, I hope we can do another link up before the year ends. That would be super cool. And um, yeah, man, guys, check out his channel. He has another amazing channel, you know, just natural vibes, cooking, and not just any cooking, you know. <laughs> Some special colas gang recipes. <laughs> He's experimenting with food, so it's really interesting, guys. Go over there, check him out, Cola Smith TV. We already had collaboration, so it shouldn't be um, strange to you unless I'm having some new subscribers here. You never know. You can go over there, check him out. Um, but in any case, I really try to link him up for another link up before the year ends. Yeman yeah, Yolas Isa, take your time. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yes, yes, people. Thanks for tuning in. Give it a like. Yep, yep. Oh, these motorcycles are so loud. I don't know. Hey, when I do a voiceover, like I literally have to take my blanket and go under my blanket and do voiceover just to make sure that I can kind of isolate the noise. <laughs> yes, man, people, Colas is wishing everybody Merry Christmas and just a happy season. Yes, to everybody. Love and unity and health to everybody. Amy, greetings. Yes, Amy, uh, most likely, most likely. I will see with Colas where, where he is and then just join wherever, if it's river or bush <laughs> or beach. 
somewhere. <laughs> yes, people. Yeah, man, I revives. Joan, greetings. So, yeah, so yeah, I'm here with this time zone. See who is joining this live. Yeah, yeah. Guys, what are you doing for the season? Or not what are you guys doing? What are you cooking? What are you cooking on Christmas? Like, what's your Christmas dish? Let me know. Let me know. Vegan diet. All right. What's your Christmas vegan dish? One journey. Nice. Greetings. How are you doing, One Journey? James, some Texas barbecue. Okay, okay. And what do you serve with it? Amy, no special plans? Hmm. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither, Amy. <clears throat> very nice very nice one journey what are you cooking for christmas because i know some families they have like a set meal and certain dish which they do every year francoise jessica you make my day you are like a ray of sunshine blessings to you happy holidays oh merci that's so kind of you where are you francoise Burasa. Glad I make you a day. Happy to hear. Yeah, man. Ah, Helen, grab and go sandwich. Junk children don't care, just one gift. <laughs> I know, right? And they'd be like, <laughs> open it up so fast. Hugo, love the channel. When's the next Chucky video out? Um, I'm planning to release the next Chucky video on Saturday, if all goes well. But definitely over the holidays. You can expect a Chucky video and you can expect another surprise too. Because it's Christmas, right? <laughs> yeah, man. Nick Nick, greetings. Ronald, hi. My sister makes chicken enchiladas. Ooh, nice. Our USA Jamaican holiday table is all Jamaican food. Make Jamaican song Gondi. Ooh, you know I never had that? I never had the Solomon Gondi. That's so cool. But yeah, man, I guess you're gonna have your curry goat and oxtail with rice and peas, yeah. That's so cool yeah 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 what about cake any christmas cake i already finished my christmas cake and it was so good i know i didn't made it to christmas <laughs> but i was like i'm not gonna order another one because too much calories i already ate off my cake so that's it finish <laughs> my family will be gathering for that at my mom and sister's house in Tulsa, enchiladas and tamales are in California thing at some homes, not just in Mexico. Mexico! Okay, Amy, sounds good, sounds good. Ronald, that sounds delicious. I know, right? But that's what I love about the season, like the holiday season. It's just about food. <laughs> eat, eat, eat. And drink, drink, drink. Some nice sorrel. Yeah, man. King Sandred, bless up. Big up yourself. Out of many. Greetings. You know, I'm not sure what I'm doing. So I'll just go with the flow. I'm not very fussy about 
it because it's you know my part of the family is not even here so so I'll see I'll see um, out of many you know I replied your question but since you're here in the live chat I'm gonna say it again because I'm not sure if I expressed myself <laughs> um good so what regarding the breadfruit tacos right so when you have the breadfruit tacos you you slice them and the way why they stay in their shape is because when you fold them like a taco shape you use the toothpick and you you know you, you push them through so they stay in that shape and then you actually fry them this way so because because you fry them that way they keep that shape and then you can remove the remove the toothpick and ta da taco shape and you can fill it with your filling yeah it is so good let me know how you like it i love those tacos my god i should do that for christmas let's see if i can find a bread food tori hello from mississippi soul food ham roast mac and cheese dirt rice Mashed potatoes, jiggling, gumbo rice, cornbread, dressing, gravy, sweet potato, pie, pineapple, upside down cake, greens. Um, Tori's, um, can I come? <laughs> Am I invited? <laughs> it sounds all delicious. Good afternoon, Paul. So, uh, Tori sounds Georgia Christmas feast on time. Yes, back in Scotilla. I know. Is the breadfruit roasted before you shape it? Thanks for your reply. No, it's it's in its raw young form. You don't do anything to it. You just cut it and then and then fry it. Uh, yes francois i'm in canada and it's real cold wish i was in jamaica one love maybe one day i will some diving with you all right all right sounds good sending a lot of warm sunshine your way yeah man canada has a serious winter oh my god it's so cold even though they moved to oklahoma they will probably still do that all right mark smoked salmon roast potato mashed potato mm, nice i like smoked salmon very nice very nice calistic hello how many languages can you speak because jockey said you were from Swiss. yes so i speak well official languages would be german english and French but we also have like Creoles or dialects such as Swiss German or Patois and so do those count as a language <laughs> so it depends either it's three or it's five but I think I, I think we should call it language because it's a you communicate once you can communicate in it, it's a language, I think. So even though, for whatever reason, people decided not to put any rules and regulation to the language, and maybe that's the nice thing. Roast the breadfruit in the oven, boil first, then in the oven, delicious. Mmm. Never tried boiled, then roast. By the way, I love breadfruit salad as well. Mm, very nice. Paul, no, I do not understand romance or romanish, red romance. And it's actually about, um, we're losing actually that language. Yes. So I hope they will do some efforts to, to, um, teach the language or i don't know how they're going to do it but less and less people know how to actually speak it
interesting i don't even know if you could find breadfruit in france i don't know i don't know because usually we depend on indian store or some asian stores but i don't think asians have breadfruit do they do asians have breadfruit or is it a caribbean thing i don't even know Do we have anybody from Asia in this chat? I would like to know if you have breadfruit. Or Africa, do I know where where do we where do we get breadfruit? Is it a Caribbean thing? Or worldwide? The French okay, all oh, right. So you might find it, yes. Cause like yeah man, for maybe like people like from Guadeloupe and Martinique. Kerry Palmer, yes, I'm early today because I'm I I um, want to accommodate other time zones. So like Europe and other places in the world. So they also have a chance to catch me on my life. So yes, that's why this one, um, as promised, I said I'm gonna during the holidays i'm on holiday now so i actually can do different times such as this in the middle of the day and so now i think europe has evening depending on where you are but it's going to be not like in the night for you hello from fiji nice aporosa that's so cool the fiji that must be so beautiful what um aporosa what what is your christmas like what do you have what are you cooking for Christmas? Breadfruit is in Brazil. Mm. Solomon Gundi has a starter, hard to mark proper in the UK. When I never had Solomon or Gundi, I need to, I need to, I need to have somebody who um, is cooking that for me. Martinique, Guadeloupe, yeah, man. Fiji, ooh, I only know Fiji is from like some travel channel and some pictures, some nice pictures. Um, yes, I'm curious. What are you guys having for 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 Christmas dinner? Yeah, nice. Calistic, thank you for answering. Switzerland Patois is considered a language. I'm from Guadeloupe and yes, they can find breadfruit from the Caribbean stores. And yes, I I can cook. Ah, oh, yeah, right. So like Creole Patois, um, Swiss German would be considered as something like that. <laughs> um, yeah. Have you been to Switzerland, um, Galistic? Fiji should be a great place to share some months. Yeah, I assume you guys have some great dive sites as well. We're going to have Lovo. Ah, what is Lovo? And Peter in the UK gonna have curry goat and white rice. Mmm, lovely. Cheryl, greetings, Merry Christmas. I'm not saying have to run, sorry. That's fine, Cheryl, no problem. I understand. But thanks for passing by. Yeah, man. I'm gonna catch you on a different life. Donna, hello from Washington, DC. Greetings, thank you. Fiji people make the best wine from roots. Mmm, nice. Some good roots wine. Yes, Cheryl. I know I know people busy in these times now, so that's fine. I'll catch you on, on, on the next life. <laughs> but anyways, Merry Christmas to everybody here. I'm already saying this from now. Happy Holidays enjoy the time with family and friends oh rafa hello from spain hola como estas 
<laughs> I don't speak Spanish. No, no. I can't just say this. But that's so fine. Where that's uh where in Spain? This is so international. I love this. I've been to Madrid and I've been to Barcelona. I love Barcelona. That was so beautiful. Christmas to you too. And I look forward to many adventures in New Year. Adventures in the new year. Be safe and love. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I have a lot of adventures um which i want to do and hopefully i can do so yeah no front lift with all right greetings iglesias i have apartment in torrejon nice 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 Español me gusta esta linga. Sí, sí. I need to learn Spanish because I want to travel to Dominican Republic and to Mexico and I don't want to be there stranded like, huh? <laughs> um, so yeah. But I don't know, what's the best way to learn a new language? Any input here? Feliz Navidad. Gracias. Sí. También. Tam oh, I don't know. I don't even try. I shouldn't. Jess, don't even try. <laughs> oh man. No man. I, I. You know that could be a, that. That should be my New Year's resolution to learn Spanish. I really should, cause I really wanna travel to Mexico and to the Dominican Republic. Yes, I live in the UK, so I always go through Switzerland and Epato is not like Creole because Creole means not European or outside of Europe. Ah, but Switzerland was independent with the lingo. That's so interesting. You know what I thought Creole is? I thought Creole is, is what Patois is to the English language, Creole is to the French language. Or francophone language and I don't know what the word would be for German the German because Austrians speak different the Swiss speak different but we don't name it I don't even know but I, I understand I got you where you're coming from so that's interesting very interesting yeah um, Paul, Tyrone Sudi does a link up with brethren from Manchester who does jerk breadfruit, breadfruit stuffed and roasted and aki. Oh my God. Like I'm just like here, but while reading, I'm getting hungry. Saltfish and breadfruit stuffed, roasted and colored with saltfish. Paul, Paul, why did I even ask these foodie questions? Or I'm getting hungry right now. <laughs> this sounds amazing. Okay. I need to charge this thing. Um, Tyrone Sudi does a link up with a brethren. Who is that? Who is who is who? Sorry guys, I need to charge my phone. Um, one second, one second. Aspetta, see art, and back in the game. Um, Cherry breadfruit, guys, is in Westmoreland too, if I recall it right. Jessica, what is a typical Swiss Christmas meal? Um, it, there, I don't think there is a typical Christmas meal because it really depends on family tradition, and these, these just is a variation, um, because depending on which family you will speak to, they will have a different meal. So it's not really something. Because the, the, the Swiss cuisine is quite large. Like there's a lot of food items and then and then yeah. So um, for some family it's like fondue chinoise or fondue bourguignon, which is you know the hot oil and you have the fine um, meat and you put it on the fork and then you dip it into the hot oil and then you know it's just a whole nice way of eating or you just have the fondue which is the same thing but with cheese well not the same thing it's not with meat but it's with potato but 
same as in you know you have something in the middle of the table and then you have the fork and you stick it on the fork and you dip it in and the nice thing with that it's like it's not just yum yum and done eating it, it's 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 the, the that style of eating just takes time so it's perfect for a festive meal so people you know really take their time to eat um so Impa, I saw it. Bonjour, the Maritimes. Ooh, bonjour. Comment ça va? Between German, French, and Italian parts in Switzerland. Yes, yes. So there is the Italian part, the German part, and the French part. But the difference in terms of language is that the French is is not a Creole. It's French. So they they understand each other. Same with the Italians. You. They have a dialect so you can when you hear them speak you can say okay that person is from switzerland because their french is different but different with the with the german no the germans don't understand us um so it's really a strong dialect but you don't know Creole used to be like the N-word for the French. Ooh, really? A French that was born in the Caribbean and Virginia and the Creole in order to reject them. So the Patois is not French, so it's Creole. Oh, really? Oh, man. Interesting. These damn colonizers. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Kalis. That's very interesting. I remember found you during the holidays growing up at different relatives houses we would visit really amy you guys had found you as well in the states that's interesting yeah we see found you with cheese but it's better with meat well <laughs> um i don't know i think they're both great i'm no vegetarian so but I, I, when I was not vegetarian, I loved both of them. Nous avons le premier snowstorm. Ooh, merde. All right, I hope you can make some authentic Jamaican hot chocolate. You know, some nice hot chocolate and be in the warm. Uh, I believe he is in Manchester. Call us Miff TV recreated it and gave props to him okay paul i need to follow up on that and uh, and see and check it out benjamin greetings yes fondy was really big in the 70s not as much now though it was kind of fat thing okay gotcha you earn my Oops, oops, oops. Not so fast. You earned my sub today. I'm watching the live as I'm working at the same time. Oh, Galistic. Nice. Well, welcome to Mermaid Nation. <laughs> so I do a lot of diving videos and catch and cook and these type of things. Um, I'm glad you joined the crew, you know. Very nice. Even though you're working. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. And yeah, man, and thanks for those interesting inputs you share in here. That was very, very interesting. Um, out of many, I should be easy for you to learn another language, yes, because you know languages. I think so. I do think because speaking already French and I've been exposed to so many cultures that I easily can tell you what language you speak, even though I don't even speak it. But I have a very good ear for it. And... Um, and I don't know, I just love to guess a language and where people... I just love cultures. I love traveling. I love... Um, I'm just very always curious. Curious. Yeah, man. Um, so with the Spanish now, it's really just memorizing things, I guess. And find the time. John, always create adventures. It was nice to see you in Chucky's place. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Watch out for part two. Benjamin, okay, thanks for the info, Paul. George, hi, just trying to chat. What did I miss so far? Big up my beautiful Jamaican people and anyone else in other countries. Yeah, man, George, you know, 
Um, you didn't really miss much. We've been talking about food. I've been asking people what they're going to cook for Christmas. So, so yeah, I've been hearing here, well, reading the different meals people cooking for this, the, the, the holidays. Okay, you're vegan as well. Yeah, yeah. I well, like you know, growing up in Switzerland, everything is about cheese and milk and like. <laughs> so I definitely try to reduce cheese in and 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 da da dairy products. Cass, how tall are you? And you still train karate? Um, I am one seventy eight centimeter and five nine or five nine feet as i go i think so yes so i'm tall <laughs> um i well karate i still wow well, what can i say i haven't been in a in in karate practice since the pandemic started so it's due to the pandemic but I, I stopped competing. So I stopped my career as an athlete. So I'm not competing again. I'm retired. But I still would be training if the pandemic wouldn't have made it so difficult. And why it's difficult? Because it's a contact sport. So a lot of clubs were closed due to that. You know, families weren't. It was just weird because you never knew could you could you not you know the risks and blah blah and then the curfews you know they were always early um not right now but you know it was just always difficult so long story short i have not been training since the pandemic but i've been just working out and try keep in shape we are cooking duck turkey ham chicken goat with all the signs sorry jessica can invite you no vegetables <laughs> okay i would have to bring my own vegetables <laughs> better your vaccine all sports can count their loss now yeah so it's difficult have you thought about teaching karate yeah man i've been teaching karate all the time um in portland and in kingston um but because of just the way my life is set up, I never started my own school. So I would more be assisting teachers or more do like a little workshop or, you know, helping out and assist kind of vibe. But I had a, or did um, summer camps, like just for the summer holidays, like do training camps in the holidays, stuff like that. Yeah. Wendy, I'm not cooking, but we'll be eating. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you probably have to do the dishwash. <laughs> hey, from South Africa. Nice. Greetings. Greetings from South Africa. <laughs> yeah. After, I'll show you later. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um south africa i have a question you guys have breadfruit do you guys have breadfruit in south africa because that was the question earlier ken big up yourself joan mukomana what is that um all the sides rice and peas mac and cheese oh my out of many i really would have to bring my own vegetables <laughs> Better with uh, the day I see that's already da, 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 da. scamdemic. Yeah, man, is Dirk. Yeah, man. Joan, French, English, Spanish, learned Russian, Amharic notions too. Nice, nice. That's interesting. Very nice. Benjamin, good videos. All right, I am back. Hey, Ja, Eddie, big up yourself. Greetings. We're here talking about food. <laughs> and I was asking what people are cooking for 
the holidays spree grapefruit huh not grapefruit breadfruit you have breadfruit training youth in Jamaica could be great Jason sing season greetings from Miami greetings to you Jason same to you George Chuck is awesome representation of the spirit of the real Jamaican people yeah man he's vibes he definitely is vibes so and I had a good time there even though um, it was short but I still got to hang out uh, with Chucky a little bit and still got to explore um, the area in that short time so that was really cool really nice just a nice place like by the river and I love Swift River that's my new favorite river Helen Tai Chi I want to learn it yes Helen I love Tai Chi it's really really nice and especially for me because everything I do is always so high energy <laughs> so it would be good for me to sometimes do something like yoga or Tai Chi which is not like you know more calm did you go up to the area that is calling boiling pot i think it is uh amy boiling pot where is that jayri mutton chicken ham good good i hope you get some hand on ham i heard it's scarce <laughs> yes man greetings greetings people ken what are you having for christmas what are you cooking fruit apple ah big green ball in the big tree is full of spikes and it's so delicious mukumana ah okay joan so mukumana is um breadfruit is where the water bubble in the river Chucky might know of it. It's an area in that river upstream that deep and has natural spring flowing into it. Amy, I say. Really? That is so cool. Oh my god, I can't wait, Amy, to explore Swift River some more and find out about that boiling pot. Nice. Galistic breadfruit came to the Caribbean with the Indians. But hold on. Calistic is teaching. I love it. Hold on, hold on. All right, Caribbean and Indians, but it's a man made tree because you cannot plant it from seed, only from marketing, a branch that you plant from. Calistic, I'm glad you are now my subscribers. I love the information you're sharing here. This is so interesting. I need to, I need to Google this stuff and find out more. That is so interesting. Wow. Guys, read Galistic's comment. That's so interesting. Mukomana. Greetings, Jessica. Blessings. Love your videos with Chucky. And I don't know what the menu for Christmas my three sons are cooking, but all I want is some greens. <laughs> Yeah, man, you sound like me. I want my greens too. I love my greens. Um, that's very nice. Thanks for tuning in, Leslie. Nice to see you. Davil, greetings. Margoting, nice. Yeah, man. That is so interesting. Guys, I was asking where breadfruit is coming from and Galistic answered. Breadfruit came to the Caribbean with the Indians, but it is a man-made tree. Did you know that? Because you cannot plant it from seeds, only from margotin, a branch that you plant from the tree. So interesting. I'm a good Caribbean. Haha, <laughs> thank you. I just love the conversations. You are, you are a good Caribbean, definitely. <laughs> I have to do better. I have to do better. Car 
I have to be a bit of Caribbean too. <laughs> Tesla, Sweden, Donovan's vlog. Greetings, Tesla. Hi, from Sweden. Yes, I am from Jamaica. Well, I'm mixed, so I'm half Jamaican, half Swiss. But I moved to Jamaica and live here now since eight years. Yes. Before that, I was in France, and before that, I was in Switzerland. I born and grew in Switzerland, so that's where I had my education. Yeah. Hello, Tesla, Sweden. Yeah, Scandinavia, nice. Do you guys see some northern lights there? Do you see northern lights now? Asha, hi Jessica, enjoying your video. Saw the short on that picking up your trash. Yeah, yeah, beach cleanups, you know? Thank you. So sometimes just try to do a little awareness post. Not all the time, but every now and then so people are aware about the problem of ocean pollution. It's just so real. And I'm still surprised how much people don't know about the trash, which is ending up in our ocean. So I did another, I did a post about it on my social media. It's just a short a one minute video, different from my vlogs about beach cleanup. So yes, guys, we all have to be part of the solution and do our part, spread awareness try to reduce single-use plastic yes guys try if you can you know use your to-go coffee cup instead of always have to use a cup use your reusable plastic bottles like your like a reusable bottle so you can always use your bottle instead of creating more plastic bottles and there's so many little ways we can change in our daily behavior to reduce waste, you know. Crystal, greetings. Choo-choo. Yeah, man. Crystal, just tune in. Love your message already. Thanks, Crystal. Yeah, man. You know, we just have to try, get it out there so everybody know that everybody can make a change. It's not like something is not in your power it is in our powers like you and me <laughs> so if we all change and it has a lot to do with education people it has a lot to do with education so we have to educate a lot of people in the first world countries they've been educated from a very early age about recycling and why and how and so on and so on and it's not happening everywhere and we still have a lot a far way to go when it comes to education of our environment and and waste management so yeah man all right let me let me let me let me let me go up here and see what i missed um are you in jamaica yes in jamaica culture vibes shared internationally so nice yeah man hello tesla greetings um mm -hmm. Rayton. Who is from Rayton? Tesla, you're in Rayton? Luvina, greetings. Yeah man, an early life because I'm trying to accommodate different time zones and I'm on holiday. So I can do early lives. And I promised people to my lovely community that I will do more lives for during Christmas so we can all you know connect and vibe together um, because I know there are people they cannot spend Christmas with their families and so I just want to try that nobody feels lonely I'm here <laughs> we can connect and I will go live over the Christmas as well I just hope that the internet will work uh, yeah man what part of Jamaica are you living now well, I'm a little all about the place, but mostly, mostly, mostly Kingston and Portland. Um, stop pipes to drink too. Worse was an earth pipe from inbox is better. Two. Yes, man. People, you can also, you know, send your ideas how to 
make better choices, you know, give ideas, share those ideas where we can reduce waste um, to, and make better choices. I mean, I'm still learning too, you know, I'm not, I'm still learning when it comes to waste management and, and, and these things. But yeah, even things going to the river, you know, you can bring your garbage bag and, and then just fill it up. There's always garbage there. So you can use that, bring that and, and your own garbage, which you produce in a cookout, you, you know, just put it in a garbage bag and bring it. And then, you know, and then people, please, if you are in a taxi, tax, uh, do I have any taxi drivers here? Please stop throwing out the bottles of your windows drivers and 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 i just see too many times that i'm behind a car or i'm actually in the taxi and then i'm like you know if i catch somebody do it i'm like hey, don't do that you know <laughs> and i'm like oh my god poor driver so i'm gonna be like no telling him what is like no dot up Jamaica think that that was such a cool campaign, man. And they uh, apparently they lost funding, you know? Some important things losing fundings. I uh, this is always sad. Sad, sad. Alright, uh try East Freezer. Moy from East Freezer. Okay. Corday. Greetings. Jason, definitely beach, beach cleanup, an awesome thing, Jessica. Let's help our beautiful beaches in our beautiful island and clean up. Yeah, man. So beach cleanups are very important, but also every beach we clean up after three months, it looks the same. So, but we still have to do what we have to do, right? So we have to change our habits, you know? So it will take time and it's really a global issue. It's a global issue. We get garbage from other countries. So, and it's getting, it, it gets washed on our shores. But I read that 80% of the garbage in the ocean is coming from the rivers, as coming from inland. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me go back up in the chat and see what I missed. Da, da, de, da, da, da. Uh oh all right okay luder eckert hey dears this channel playlists intergalactic self-education and disclosure all right mr luder big up yourself no i'm from raytown kingston but now live in sweden oh how is it going it's so cold how are you dealing with the cold raytown nice you know they have um a lot of I don't even know when last you've been maybe down there, but right now they've been changing up down there. Like they, they're fixing the road, they, they, they changed the fishing village, they moved it to a different place and, and just like some serious changes are happening down there. But beautiful. I mean, I haven't no, I've been avoiding that area because it's just a headache because of the, the, the the ongoing road construction so i'm not i haven't been there in in recent times but it's just what i heard crystal i like that good to know definitely you tuning in on christmas all right yeah man what's best to play can a big huh? the best way not to play that can get a big fine oh no fine here we must work on low tech technology from biogas to solar cooking power. Yeah, man. Tesla, my cousin lives in Portland. Stuart is last name. Okay, nice. There are a lot of stewards here. And we're in Portland. King King, congratulations, beautiful lady. I agree. We need to clean up the planet and re and the real history of why aluminium from Jamaica started is something to look into. But the big problem is god created all right i will look into that thanks for sharing 
Amy, there should be a recycling center in Jamaica, like in the USA, by stores where you can get paid for cans and bottles. Yeah, 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 they should. But I must say, in the recent years, we got a couple of recycling companies now in Jamaica, and they have their 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 bins. Um, I don't think it's like fully island wide, but definitely Kingston have now several recycle bins where you can bring your bottles. I bring mine um, at the recycling bin by Chilitos. And there's more. If you put now in Recycling Jamaica, you will see a couple of companies and you can find out where their recycle bins are. So you can see which one is near to you. We're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. Yes. But I do think, I mean, a lot of companies really need to make some efforts because companies are a big part of this issue because their packaging is crazy. Um, you're it would help ease up a lot of pollution in Yemen, surrounded by blessed people. Yemen, greetings, thanks. I want to release turtles. Yemen, Derek, I don't know, but if you can get to a turtle release, I just uploaded a video uh, maybe two weeks ago. You can see it on my channel. And yeah, so that was a turtle release. Turtles turn off lights by night. It disturbs a lot. Curfew revealed this. Yeah, and birds too. Creation is not a problem. Our response is that humans can be a time tough where we pollute too much. We all need to be more aware. Yes, Amy, that is so true. And I do think like consumption, it seems, has no end. Like what is this crazy consumption mentality? It's like why buying so much every week and what's, what's going on with this shopping, 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 shopping? So and and all the time new things new 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 so you create a lot of waste because you always buy new things again and over again every month a new car every month a new phone every month a new sofa every month a new something i don't even know like people don't even know where to put the stuff in the house you know and yeah i, I just think like why <laughs> What's going on? Why why don't people shop so damn much? Because yes, that behavior is is um motorcycle, they're so loud. Um this crazy consumption behavior is 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 just not helping. True talk, we need to observe how to live with less and share happiness yes yes you know um in the 70s when i was in jamaica we used to take our, our old shopping bags called scandal and i don't know why we changed it it started talking plastic yes one of many but now they're they're banned so we really made a great step towards um better choices so we all have to bring now <clears throat> our own shopping bag so scandal bags plastic bags are banned plastic straws are banned foam foam food box are banned and this is amazing people it's amazing you see when the government comes steps in with some regulations it has an important impact and a major impact because now the companies have to change you know, so that was very good. That was very, very good. So we have loud motorcycles and we have loud trucks. <laughs> Sometimes at work when I'm on the phone, when these trucks pass by, I have to like put on hold. I can't even hear the people. <sighs> It's shopping addiction and Earth won't be able to hold all, all garbage. Yes, I even one time heard something like that in, 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 in 20, 30 years, we're gonna have more plastic bottles in the ocean, more than fish. 
you know so we have to really like get get i mean i don't know and it's possible you know we always find solutions when we have no choice or for whatever reason and we don't have to wait so long and uh, you know the governments really have to step in and make some the right policies for companies I miss plastic shopping bags because I use them to start plants back garbage and melt into plastic plates yeah I mean the little yeah I mean I know maybe you can use a garbage bag brother Adam it's shopping addiction plastic da -da -dee, da -da -da. Donald Sanks is my great grandfather nice interesting to talk da -da -dee. okay nice Wendy from Black Hill in Portland hey Wendy so you saw my vlog from Black Hill Wendy I don't know if you're still in the chat but I did not know guys that Black Hill is like my my that's like the best kept secret place I was like I felt like Alice in Wonderland when I drove go down to the beach I'm like where am I this was so beautiful so actually guys I'm gonna go back to Black Hill and do another vlog because there's some history and I want to feature that in my next vlog yeah man yes Wendy my my black hill oh my like this was so beautiful i'm not sure if you saw my vlog from black hill i was amazed i have to come back there you know yeah man there's more to see lieben greetings nice to see you yeah man i've been to say mary and i'm doing fine i'm doing fine you know i'm officially on holiday now so I'm enjoying that. Yes, yes. Brother Adam, but we were free. Have to buy garbage bags and plant bags. No, along with finally buying seeding tree last week for Christmas. Hate it though. Yeah, Brother Adam, but if you look at the bigger picture, you know, if you see at all the pollution it caused, all those garbage bags, then you will see that it was a good move. Lieben, big up yourself. Yay! Cheers. High five, Lieben. I love it. I got my Christmas coffee from Lieben. Yes, from the super chat. Thank you. Lieben, big up yourself. I love it. Thanks for the super chat. High five. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, man, I appreciate the super chat, guys. That's really nice support. Um, plastic is also a mess up in the island where it's no living. Yeah, man, no, it's it's crazy, the pollution. Um, all right. Let me check, let me check. Damien, greetings. Lieben, what are you having? What are you cooking for Christmas? um da -da -dee, da -da -da. yeah so we were um <laughs> you know when i came when i was like okay let me do a live i'm like hmm, how does this work with these load motorcycles but i hope i like i hope it's not too bad ah uh, did you ever spend time in the uk london competition etc when i been in london to visit family but i never i never been there for a sports event never for a sports event just for to visit family we need to hold makers and sellers accountable keep up your awesome work yeah man the king king choo choo I understand, but people could have collected straws, bread, uh, scandal bags, and other lightweight plastic and add them to the road asphalt when paving road. Yeah, but probably not that practical because there's also lack of knowledge when it comes to these things. 
Charles, Paris. Hey there, miss. Good seeing you. So soon. You look well as expected. Love you. Greetings. Yeah, man. You know, it's, I'm on holiday, so I can do lives on a different time to accommodate different time zones. Swiss Jam Tina, greetings from Switzerland. Soon come ayad. Nice. Greetings. Yeah, man. Come here. <laughs> I leave the cold Switzerland. Yeah. That's nice. Michelle, happy holidays. Same to you. Big up, big swimmer. Southside elite. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Mermaid Nation. <laughs> Lyndon, saying hi to you. Hello, Jessica. Strength and power. Thanks, Lyndon. Same to you. Love and unity. You know? And health. Health people help yes it's the most important thing so try what you can do you know to stay healthy eat good drink good exercise and all that lovely stuff wendy link up the live peeps yeah man give it a like thumbnail a shot <laughs> Yeah, that was, that's funny, right? My my little Christmas look. That's um, I know Snapchat has this this filters. <laughs> Charles, have you ever seen the tone of my shade before? A lot of people have been seeing it, and I never seen them before. Have you ever seen the tone of my shade? No, I never seen that. I don't even know what you are basically talking about. What are you talking about, um, Charles? And uh, not following. My understanding was breadfruit went from Pacific to Africa and South Africa and then to the Caribbean. Lyndon from Trinidad. Lyndon, nice. Trinidad in the house. I love it. Greetings to Trinidad. Lyndon, what are you having for Christmas? What what are what are you cooking for Christmas? No, I never heard that name before. Craig Alibocas. No, no. Philip, greetings and salutations with positive vibrations and no discrimination with lots of dedication to all nations and season. Greetings to you, sister. Enough love. Hey, Philip, thank you so much for the kind words. Same to you. Health and strength and unity and love. Yes, celebration for the season. Um, you know, that we just all enjoy ourselves. Oh, the many Jessica, the, my history showed that breadfruit is from the South Pacific region. Mm. Interesting, interesting. Very good. Amy, Tahiti, Mutini, and Bounty. That's where I remember it from. Found some info. Ah, interesting. Paul, Jesse, Ayari, currently living in Switzerland, said that a surprising number of Swiss are leaving the country each year. Any idea why that may be the case? Well, Paul, um, obviously everybody has personal reason and has different motivations to, um, you know, leave a country. Um, some people are maybe with a mixed heritage and they just want to find out more, like people either from the Caribbean or from Africa, they want to go and visit and just get to learn more about their history or ancestors and so on then you have people there fed up with a certain system and and then they they leave and then i guess they find out if the system was worth living or not 
and I think that's important, you know. If you're not happy, change it and then see if that's better. Or sometimes you would actually learn to appreciate what you had. <laughs> and then you go back. <laughs> but there is definitely nowhere perfect. Um, but, but yeah. I mean, for me, you know, I lived in Europe and it's definitely not for me. And it's not because here is perfect, but it's perfect for me and what I appreciate. And of course, this is different for other people. You know, there are people leaving the country, there are people coming to the country. Um, so yeah. All right. So yes, Paul, it, it, it probably really depends with who you're talking and they will give you different reasons why they they want to leave um yeah but it's very over regulated and if you have uh, difficulties with that and then plus the weather and then the restrictions and the laws and and all of that then it can become you know a difficult area to live but yeah you know it's a great place i'm not i'm not it's definitely a great place to live i mean standard of living is very high the the you know you're pretty there's a lot of good things about it but again different people appreciate different things <laughs> why did you pick jamaica to return um, Wendy, Jamaica was just always, you know, I'm half Jamaican, my father's Jamaican, so I always came to Jamaica in holidays, and I just loved it, you know, and then eventually I wanted to know and learn more about the other side of my family, and where I'm coming from, you know, and then with that interest, I wanted to learn more about my other side, yeah, <laughs> and I made a move, <laughs> <laughs> um all right let me let me go up back in the chat and see what i'm missing here back from shoveling the yard Ooh, snow oh my god i don't miss that at all scraping ice from my windows just a guy with an orange coat and a full head of hair and bronze finish no i don't know that charles tom decides palette eight snowflakes Ooh. captain bling brought it here in the next day next ship after Montini one. Ah, interesting. Charles, you and him have things in common with the hair and the good looks. Thank you. <laughs> Stay funny. It's good medicine. Yeah, man. Colleen, French. Thank you. Brother Adam, there were some people in the South Pacific that apparently traded the ship from East Africa and South Central America way before Columbus. Or white men or oh, I love all the history and culture of Jamaica and learning all I can about my new home love your exploration locations I get to see viciously through you <laughs> yeah viscerously oh my god I can't pronounce it I'm not sure how to pronounce that word anyway you guys can read it so that all right um yeah man amy i you know that's that's definitely i i, I always uh, and there's so much more i want to explore and um, there's so much more places i know but since i'm vlogging and i started to vlog about places i want to go back to certain places i've been and um yeah and show you guys you know i don't make plans we do all kinds of things believe that i knew you because you're of Rasmoko. I always follow him and Chucky as well. Okay, Linda, nice. So you're gonna be um I have a more video coming because I visited Rasmoko and I visited Chucky. So I have some new content from there. Look out for that. Visha Rosley. <laughs> Thank you, brother Adam. Uh, so yes guys uh, English is actually, is actually not my first language but I try my best I started to learn about 
piratry okay Charles and you don't have to be honest I'm used to it bit now but you should see me when I'm here seeing you and that all good enough you don't have to read this out loud okay all right um yes Julie I could try that especially that's actually interesting because they um they you know I should do that you're actually very right I will see if I can um link a herbalist which can actually show us a little more about herbs and and their properties that would be actually very interesting Okay, ciao, hoi mami, tirao, good night. <laughs> Wendy, have you met Simon from Chucky? No, I never met Simon. Um, hold on, I got a super chat. Yogi Fish, thank you. Yay, I love it. Thanks, I got a Christmas coffee from Yogi Fish. Thank you so much. and yoga he says happy holidays greetings thank you so much for the super chat yeah very nice make up yourself yogi fish i love it paul viciously i hope this helps viciously how was that <laughs> I will look out for that video from Lyndon Baptiste. God bless you. All right, Lyndon. Yeah, man, I think I will try to upload it on Saturday. But in any case, for the holidays, Christmas holidays, you will see more videos because I plan for it. And yeah, all pirates were from Europe. Da -da -dee, and if, uh, Let me go up here and see where I am at here. Yes, Chili, that's actually a good idea. I definitely will try. Ludo Eckert, Gute Nacht, Zeitlieb, Northern Germany. Okay, Gute Nacht. Danke fürs Vorbeischauen. <laughs> Vielen Dank. Tschüss. And then we have T. Roy from New Zealand. Greetings. A good herbalist is the owner of Tapioca Retreat Village in St. Mary. Oh, great. Thank you, Brother Adam. I will, I'm gonna just write this down right now because I want to check this out. Um, tapioca. I'm gonna write it down so I don't have to search it back. Yay, one life. Thank you. Hold on, people. I got a super chat. Choo, choo, choo. I like this. I love this. Yay, it's getting festive here. Nice. One life, big up yourself. Cheers. I got another Christmas coffee. <laughs> and guys, you know I love my coffee. Junction Road. Okay, I will look it up. I definitely have to look up um the Tabioka Retreat Village. Do they have like a website? Well, I can look it up after the live tapioca. But yeah, now now I think that's a great input because I'm always been very interested in herbs and so on. I actually have a nice book from a maroon herbalist and explaining all the plants. But it's like I still wouldn't recognize actually the plant. So it's still good to meet up with a herbalist. Mark from Connecticut, pick up yourself. Retreat St. Mary. Yeah, man, that's what's up, people. Love it, love it. Yeah. One life. Greetings to you. Where are you? I'm doing fine. Philip, Sister Jess, gonna have another live chat before it. Philip, um, I'm not sure if it's before Christmas, but I am actually planning to do one at Christmas. 
if if the internet is working i try to go live during christmas so that you know we all can spend some time together and enjoy christmas and who has time can tune in um even if it's for like an hour or so um that would be that i really planning for that but i cannot promise because sometimes internet is not that great where I am going to be <laughs> Facebook page small old style hotel but always getting more built brother Adam sent you okay I will tell them definitely and and uh, one life getting ready to come home all right yeah man come home to Jamaica where are you no in which country get to zoom from kc dc happy holidays and blessings greetings to you happy holidays as well cheers i'm off my vacation in maryland nice greetings and guys enjoy the holidays no pressure it's meant to be enjoyed easy and don't go too crazy with the shopping <laughs> you know snow falling hard Ooh, that's actually the thing i like when snow is falling i think that's actually pretty cool but i don't like the cold thanks out of money same to you keep safe enjoy the holidays and maybe i catch you back on the next live hopefully delroy greetings one life from Miami. Okay, nice, nice. That's not too far. That's not too far. Very nice. Yeah, man. Merry Christmas to everybody. Yeah. Lyndon, have a productive evening, Miss. Merry Christmas to you. A lot of rainy traded out. Jobless. Okay we had some rain some days ago but right now it's okay right now nice weather and same to you i'm sending christmas greetings to trinidad yeah but Lyndon, what are you having what are you cooking for christmas is it roti <laughs> doubles just got home from work and you're like, whoa, do you like sea moss, Irish moss? Um, yeah, man, one life. I do. I did. I'm doing an early life because I promised that I'm going to do different time zones. So people from like Europe and other parts of the world have a chance to catch me on a life because when we do it in the evening, then in some parts it's in the middle of the night so they can never tune in so but because i'm on holiday um i do i can do it do you like cmos you know cmos i um it's okay it's not like i like it like it um but it's okay it's it's I not necessarily drink or eat because I like something. I a lot of times eat or drink something because it's good for me. So, and CMOS is one of those. But I guess it's also how you prepare it. But it seems like it becomes like a trendy, super uh, food. <laughs> because... I don't know before and never nobody asked about it and recently people keep asking me about CMOS and I see it now even in the supermarket not bad I see that didn't expect that was looking for you in the afternoon all right greetings can I say hi Jessica thank you for the live and reply I just finished working and I'm going to cook English food nice and I will wait for the next video and live have a blessed day Egalistic was very nice have you in the live and I'm very happy you're part of the channel now and a supporter um yeah man so we're definitely gonna you know catch up again on other lives especially during the holidays I will do early lives um so this is gonna be more better for you too being in Europe 
So, yeah, man. Thanks again for tuning in, Galista. It was very nice. Thanks for sharing your information. It was very interesting. Johans, have a blessed celebration with your close friends and family. Share good luck and love. No? Da, 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 da. Yeah, man. Big up, people. Greetings. Lyndon, fried rice, barbecue chicken, don't know how I go salad. Okay, okay. No doubles. <laughs> but that's good. Sounds, sounds a good fried rice with some barbecue chicken. Sounds not bad. I need some veggies. Yeah. Nice. Leonard. Jessica, I love watching you and never missed a post from you. Thank you. Thank you. Love the support. Nice, nice. All right, my lovely people. I am slowly going to end this live because I have some editing to do. Yeah, it takes me a lot of time. <laughs> So I have some editing to do because I really want to give you guys a new video for the end of the week. So I'm trying going to finish that video so I can upload it. And then um, I catch you on my next live. Yeah, man. Okay. So people, thanks for tuning in. Keep safe and enjoy the holidays merry christmas and a happy new year if i don't see you or hear you again then i wish you all the best but i'm looking forward to see you guys on my next live which will be over the weekend yes people all right good night for those who have night and good evening for those who have evening <laughs> but definitely happy holidays people happy holidays all right bye bye take care and thanks for tuning in hey oh my god no hold on hold on you get another 10 minutes of me <laughs> yeah okay okay leonard big up yourself I can't leave now because I got the super chat. Guys, oh my God, this is so cool. Victory. Thank you. I got another Christmas cup coffee. Cheers. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Leonard. You guys got another extra 10 minutes for that because that was so nice. Yes. <laughs> That was really nice. Big up yourself. Really appreciate the support. Thank you. You know, the little Christmas super chat. Oh, this is so nice. Thank you. Jason, take care and all the best for the holidays. Yeah, man, same to you. Joanne, same to you. Give thanks. One life. Big up yourself. Greetings, watching you from office. You are so much fun. Okay, <laughs> so you're at work, uh, Leonard. Yeah, I'm already on holiday. Yay! So I'm on holiday, and I am very happy about that. I enjoy so much. I've been just editing <laughs> yeah yeah man leonard give you guys 10 more minutes i was going to log out but i cannot because i got this super duper super chat from leonard and i'm like you know what another 10 minutes yeah because now i'm very happy <laughs> i think jamaican Dined to do a size limit on the fish too many small fish leaving absolutely you know that's actually a great input and i hope just like i see they do it in miami that they you know you cannot fish juvenile fish um and just some of those <sighs> we need some of those measurements but it, it definitely has to be something we can work for the fishermen because it's their livelihood so we really have to consider that side as well and also that they can you know continue their trade and and their life um works with fishing that we can maintain that 
Um, so we need solutions working for both, for nature and for the fisher folks, you know. So that would be, uh, that's where we have to go. Um, all right, um, let me go up here and I've missed some of the chat. Great vibes. Yeah, man, greetings. You're a lot of fun to watch. Thank you. Don't forget the email. Oh, Helen. Thank you. Yes, for the good. Thank you for the reminder. I will put it there. Yes, Liban, same here. I am a pescatarian, which is no meat, but I eat seafood. But I only eat seafood um, like fresh. I, I caught it or I buy it from the fishermen. I, I don't buy fish in the supermarket. I mean, I mean, there's always an exception, but generally I don't do that. So have a wonderful rest of the day. The same thing to you, Leslie. Thanks for tuning in. Do you hear anything about traveling to Jamaica? Anything change? One Life, I have not heard anything as yet because I see some countries are, are changing some travel regulations. But what I suggest for everybody who wants to travel to Jamaica, visit our um, website from the tourist board, which is visitjamaica.com visit jamaica.com all the latest travel updates will be on that website and also you need to fill out a travel form before arriving so you need to have those information anyways so if you plan to travel go on the website and get your latest update from there I have not been traveling since the pandemic, so I, I actually don't even know where we at <laughs> with any regulations because it's not really concerning me, but yeah, check out that website. Asha, greetings. Um, I will be in Jamaica in a few weeks. And definitely going to a few places in Portland and Jamaica, Hidden Gem. Yes, Leonard. Ah, Portland, you cannot go wrong. There's some road constructions right now, so it's good to drive an SUV if you have. <laughs> but yeah, man. And you know, some of my videos will show you. You can, you know, try Manchinil. Manchinil has some lovely spots to visit. I know about the child from I've been to Jamaica five times this year. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, you know. Um, but since since everybody can expect probably some changes concerning traveling because of the new variant, so we always have to look out for updates. Yes, Paul, the, the, the Ministry of Health in Jamaica, their website is also a great place for updates. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. I like that pass. Um, yes, I mean, and, and, you know, even social media, following the the prime minister and 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 so that the, there's a good place you will always see the latest updates when it comes to curfew and restrictions and so on yes people that is so cool yeah man so yeah thanks for tuning in spending some time with me Looking forward for the holidays, definitely. And then we can link up again online, virtually. 
Jason, Jessica, I've been to Blue, have been to Blue Hole in Portland and it was awesome, beautiful place. Oh, yes, very beautiful. Blue Hole is, is so nice. Jason, have you been to, have you done the Rio Grande rafting? Guys, if you have never done the Rio Grande rafting, I highly recommend it. And when you do it, arrange for Belinda to cook for you. You guys have to give her a call. And if you call her and she knows that you and your team is coming down, then she will cook for you. And then it's a lovely experience. Yeah. Esther, ganz schöne Weihnachten, liebe Jessica, für uns alle, liebe Grüße aus der Schweiz. Thank you, danke dir auch. Yay, Esther from Switzerland, sending greetings. Thank you so much. That's my cousin, yes. Yeah, man, yeah, man. No, I've not. I would definitely like to try one day. Yes, Jason. And when you, when you, you would have to call the office so they can arrange and call Belinda for you. Um, so there's a little video um, on my channel. And so you can see actually how cool it is. It's really nice. I actually did a short about it. So you can check that out. Um, yeah, yeah, people, nice, 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 nice. All right, drinking my Christmas coffee. <laughs> Lieben, breadfruit, one of the most productive food crops on earth, originated in South Pacific in the region spanning modern-day Malaysia, Indonesia, and New Guinea. I learned a lot about this breadfruit today, thanks to you guys. You guys were so cool and sending all this information about the breadfruit. This is super cool. I'm really learning here. This is awesome. more dutch please ah. <laughs> no if i if i then i i don't know nobody will well not nobody but the majority won't understand and then and then they will leave my chat <laughs> ah. st you you speak did you understand what i said do you speak swiss german All right, since he liked it, I'm just gonna read it again for him. Yeah, or she, I don't even know actually. Sorry, could be a she, she, ST, I know. What's your name, ST? Ganz schöne Weihnachten, liebe Jessica, für uns alle, liebe Grüße, Mr. Schweetz, yay. Jason, thanks, I watch a lot of great video of rafting Jamaica. Trust me, it looks amazing. One love, Jessica. Yeah, 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 and with those experiences it's always if you get to experience it for yourself it is so cool you know that's what i really love about jamaica you know we're so blessed we have different like you can be by the beach and have just a pretty beach and the white sand and the palm trees and then just maybe a couple of hours of driving depending on where you are can go to the blue mountains a total different um surrounding and nature and it's so amazing you're up there and you'll be like you know it's it's so mystic it's beautiful and then you can go to the valley and to the river again different again so the biodiversity is just so interesting and the different uh, 
landscapes we have you know we have everything if you want beach you can have beach you want to have mountain you have mountain you want river we have river you know it's, it's really nice it's really nice so the Rio Grande rafting is another amazing place to see the diversity of our nature lands because it's different it's so beautiful okay stefan all right all right absolutely jamaica god bless land yeah man ellen <laughs> <laughs> Stefan, where are you from? Where are you? Where are you located? In which country? Yes, people. North Canada. Okay. You speak French? Emperor, Quebec. <laughs> Maritime. Ah, ben oui, ben c'est super. Pourtant, quand j'étais en Canada, j'avais mal à comprendre euh, votre leur, votre français. En fait, c'était difficile. J'étais, j'étais, je suis dit, hein, comment? Comment je ne comprends pas? <rire> Le français canadien, c'est pas facile. <rire> The Black River is also an amazing place to see nature. Yes, Paul. Actually, I am so due to do a vlog about Black River. I can't wait to go to Treasure Beach and and just that area. I just want to spend a couple of days there and do different vlogs about that area yeah so the thing is now with with um certain places it will i will need like accommodation and so on and so on so i'm really saving up some money so i can spend some time in treasure beach and and vlog and explore that side say in rulmo de la long ah oui C'est vrai. So how did you get to settle in Jamaica at opposed to Europe? So yeah, so um when you know I'm mixed, so my father is Jamaican, mother is Swiss, and so I have family here and I have family in Switzerland. So um and I just love the ocean. I wanna live where the ocean is and i want to live where there's no snow <laughs> oh man no look here i'm an island girl this is the perfect place for me i love it i you know i'm a nature girl i love being connected to nature it keeps me grounded it just i don't know how to say it i'm not a city girl i am nature like that's my happy place CC. Um, buenos tardes, mi amor. How are you? It's good to see you. Hear you again. Haron, greetings. Greetings, greetings. I'm doing fine. Thank you. You know, I'm just giving thanks each day, every day for health and strength. And um, I'm on holiday, so I'm now super happy enjoying holiday so i have more time to edit videos <laughs> and that's what i'm gonna do after this this life i'm gonna finish edit well finish i hope i can fi reconnecting what's happening here your life i know I'm live. youtube what are you doing <laughs> hey yes yeah, so guys i'm slowly gonna finish this life Thanks for tuning in. It's always cool to connect with you guys. And again, I'm going live over the Christmas time. So stay tuned. 
we can connect over Christmas and drink a Christmas drink and eat some Christmas cake. <laughs> What's the cure for hangover? I know, lime. Lime, lime, water, water, lime. Lemon, lemonade. No, not lemonade. Just lemon, like, yeah. I know, guys, what's good for hangover? You know. Your girl here is not drinking. <laughs> Jessica, du hast Familie auf der ganzen Welt. Italien, Israel, Afrika, Deutschland, Amerika. Das ist so wahr. Danke, Esther, das stimmt. Mega lieb. Danke dir. Little more, Jessica. Jason, greetings. Mountain bike ride, cold ocean front. Yemen, yeah, Stefan, greetings. I love Sorrel and I love, I love, I love Sorrel. Yeah. So definitely, uh, try definitely to have Sorrel instead of coffee for our Christmas life and see what's, what is what. All right, people, I'm slowly going to end this live chat now. We can run. Da, da, da. Why? So glad we got you. I, I get you love the island. Yeah, man, like, love the island life. That's me. Yep. So, so yeah, and somebody who loves nature and being nature. I mean, this is perfect. Like, yeah, it's great. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. I catch you on my next live. Look out for it. And also, I have some videos ready for you for the Christmas because I guess a lot of people will have time. Some people won't have time, but some will have time. So for you guys, I have some videos and I also will be live. Oh, thank you, James. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Jason, yeah, man, yeah, man. Big up Jamaica, you know, vibes. So positivity and unity we gotta preach that we gotta show it we have to put that into practice you know yes so be nice to everybody and that's the word to close the life <laughs> one love my people take care and i catch you on my next life thank you wayne merry christmas yay all right, take care, people. Bye. Bye-bye. Keep safe. All right. And I'm out.